Welcome to the island of Antiparos. Hi, I'm Laura, a gal with a backpack and a camera, traveling the world to learn more about the people and places and food in it, and hopefully sharing some of the magic of those experiences with you. For the next few weeks, I'll be exploring Greece, heading to places like Athens, Naxos, Paros, and Antiparos. I hope you'll enjoy the adventure as much as I do. Now let's get exploring Antiparos. Antiparos is a small island located to the southwest of Paros. There's a small 10-minute ferry from the port town of Punta in Paros to the main town of Antiparos, and it costs 1 euro and 50 cents per person. As soon as we got off the ferry, we headed to a local rental place to get ourselves a quad bike for the day. While there are buses to get around the island, this allows you to have a little bit more freedom with your time. Welcome to Antiparos. We just rented a quad bike, put some sunscreen on, we're ready to explore. Our first stop for the day was to the cave of Antiparos. One of the things that makes this cave so famous is that it is home to the oldest stalactite in all of Europe. It's estimated to be 45 million years old. There are 411 steps to the bottom of the cave, which takes you down 85 meters, or almost 280 feet. Then you have to take those 411 steps all the way back up. Be prepared for the climb back up by wearing sturdy shoes and bringing some water. We have just pulled into the town of Agios Georgios and it's insanely beautiful. <laughs> Located in the southwestern part of Antiparos, this little village has several beautiful beaches, a few really nice seafood restaurants, and is where you catch the boat if you want to visit Despotico Island. If we had a little bit more time, we definitely would have crossed the waterway to this island because it is home to a ruin site that has been under excavation for 20 years and is finally open to the public. You can just about see it from the beach at this side, and it looks wonderful. After lunch, we hopped back on our bike and headed along the east coast to the popular Soros Beach to relax in the sunshine. Found ourselves a little shade here under this rock. It's so beautiful here. We are at the beach called Soros and it's still very windy. After Soros, we headed along the coast back towards the port and stopped one more time at what looked like an even better beach spot. This beach, Panagia, Panagia is uh, so beautiful, worth the trip to Antiparos alone. Uh, I highly recommend it. There's loads of trees to catch some shade. The water is so calm and so clear. Oh, we've had a nice dip to cool down and now we're gonna explore a little bit more before we return our bike and, and head back. We carried on north along the east coast, stopped at a few different bays, and finally explored the town of Antiparos with its cycladic pathways and beautiful boutiques.
As we prepared to say goodbye, Luke and I both agreed that if we had known just how stunning this island was, and in particular how incredible the beaches were, we would have booked a few nights here to stay longer and enjoy them fully. I hope you guys enjoyed this Antiparos video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel. This is the final video in the Greece series. It's been so great to relive it as I've edited all of these videos. Uh, the trip in general was just so incredible, really a dream come true, a trip that Luke and I have talked about since we first met, <laughs> you know, over a decade ago. So uh, it's it was really cool to be able to be there. It, it went by so quick, uh, even though I tried to hold on as tight as I could, I'm sure you can relate when you're on the sort of trip of a lifetime. So yeah, I really hope that you got a glimpse of, of how beautiful this country is and a little taste of why I think it's so special, why I think it's so popular, uh, especially in the summer months. Uh, but I'm back home in Lithuania now and I'm enjoying summer here, the really long days. Uh, we're just about managing to still have daylight until about 9.30 p.m. So lots to enjoy about that. Obviously still very hot <laughs> uh, here. So if that's that's a plus as well. So thank you as always for watching. I will put the link up for the playlist, the full playlist of all of the Grease videos so that you can catch up if you have missed any of those. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.